Hello, it's Alina from Xactimate Mastery with today's Tuesday Tech Tip. And I wanted to quickly show you how you can import a data transfer file or commonly called an ESX file. This will happen when an adjuster wants to send you his uh, estimate and have you maybe add or or, or change something that uh, you've re you have requested from him. And um, it doesn't happen all that often, but when it does, I'm going to show you how the quickest and easiest way and how simple it is to get that uh, data transferred file into Xactimate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my email here. Let's pretend uh, the adjuster has emailed over an ESX file. So we're going to download this file here. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. So that's the easiest place to save it. Um, to get this, you know, going quickly and easily. And then I'm going to go into Xactimate. I'm going to have the Control Center dashboard up here, right? So I'm not in a project, I'm in the main part of the program. And it's as simple as left-clicking, holding, and dragging, then dropping that project right there on the Control Center dashboard. And notice I dropped it in recent projects. Uh, that's where that part of the window is where you're going to want to drop that, not in these other areas here. And once I drop that, you'll see it says transfer results succeeded. And we can go ahead and close that window, and then I can search here for Lewis if it's not on your recent projects list. And there she is, ready to go. So that was Tuesday's Tech Tips. Be sure to subscribe for future videos. We'll be doing a lot of things on this channel, and I'm excited to get this started. Um, next week, we'll talk about data transferring, where we're going to send an estimate um, or an ESX file out if the adjuster requests your ESX file. So tune in for that. See you then.